Half a day and good morning. It is a cloudy day here in San Diego, but I still have to take some pictures of the miniature I just finished. Eilish Garrity. I just finished painting this guy and I have to say it's pretty average for what I usually produce. I'm not a good or great painter by any chance. It doesn't look too bad. Actually, I did I did some new painting or uh, some paint mixes to get some of the shades on here. But overall, I'm happy with it. It's going to look pretty good on the tabletop. Before I put this guy away and put him inside of the case to be used in my next game, I need to take some pictures. So if you look at my blog that I that I write write on usually at 8bitbarbell.com, I do a piece called uh, Miniature Mondays, which is where I just take uh, pictures, before and after pictures of miniatures, and pretty much uh, show what the, the outcome is. Now, it's not meant to be as a tutorial because I'm not sure if I can really teach teach this. My techniques are very elementary and they're not great by any stretch. Uh, also, there's a lot of really good painters out there that do tutorials and I would rather you learn from them than try to learn from me. But there's something I can actually do that's not bad, is take pictures. So the way I take pictures is I use my DSLR, which I have, but you don't have to have a DSLR. You can use your cell phone camera, but there's a couple of ways that you can make that better. Uh, usually it's using a tripod, using a light source or a brighter light source, and uh, that's pretty much it. So now I'm just going to show you what I do when I take pictures. Uh, it's not rocket science or anything. And it's very simple, very easy techniques, very easy things. And um, if you want, I can probably do a full step-by-step how-to guide. But uh, today, I'm just going to take some pictures. So I opened up the, sh the blinds on my left uh, to get some more light in. More light, the better, as I always say. I need to set up the background that I use. It's just a plain black background. You don't really need... This came with a uh, softbox that I purchased a couple years ago and these work really well. I know some of uh, many photographers or people that take pictures have like that uh, portrait background but I find this is not that bad so I'm just gonna put the mini on this desk. I'm gonna use this desk uh, to take the pictures on and I'll just sort of show you what the setup looks like, I guess. That looks okay. Okay, so uh, after this is done, I'm gonna move the lighting into a better position take this picture. Actually, I'm going to move it to the opposite side. So I adjusted. Turn the back. So I adjusted the um, height of the tripod. Um, I realized that you can't really do live view at anything lower than um, uh, one thirtieth of a second for your shutter speed. So I'm gonna have to do this manually, and I'll show you the um, show you what it looks like after. So right now, my settings on this DSLR is. Uh, one thirtieth of a shutter speed, aperture six point three, ISO four hundred. So I'm gonna need to make the shutter speed slower. So the reason why you get some shutter or some vibration on your photos is because either you're hand holding, and especially you're hand holding, so you're shaking, and the the shutter speed's not fast enough, meaning that this number has to be higher, like one uh, two hundred and fifty, I think. 
is like the best. And usually you can get that like get away with that outside, but in a dark room like this, you're gonna need uh, something slower to have a good exposure. So let's see what this. Uh... So I'm not sure you can't really tell on the on the screen because of the colors, but uh, let me see if I can zoom. One second. But there is some depth of field issues. I'm not really exposing um, all of it. So I want to up my my depth of field. So that means it's going to be a lot slower. So let me, here, let me just let me make sure this is framed up correctly. Yeah, I want, that's fine. So I need this maybe 16 let's go to let's see what that exposure is like so once i get usually to this low of a shutter speed like this is one this is half a second um i usually break out a remote so let me show you that so this is my nikon remote um if you don't have a remote your other option is to do a timer which is at least on my computer, it's on my computer, my camera is down here. So let me. Oh, yeah. So this way. So the reason why you want to use remotes like this one, if you have a infrared camera, or if you want to use. Um, a corded one, which is the one I used to have from my old Nikon D300, is because the simple act of you pushing down on your camera causes some shake. So if you have a remote that you push down, you don't have to uh, shake this camera, especially at this slow of a shutter speed. You're mi you might want to um, do that so you don't get any of the blur. So let's actually try it out. Um, is that shutter release set? Yeah. Okay, so... Let me, I'm going to double check. There we go. Okay, let me zoom in. That's much better. So it's not blurry. Oops. And I can probably crop it down and get a good photo so that's actually not bad i will show you what the photos look like afterwards like in uh i'll just like have them outside uh at the end of the video so you can see what the pictures look like after photoshop and everything uh, after i crop everything and get something bigger i could also move the camera forward and uh zoom in but right now it's just the best i got so let me do some more pictures and check it out. Of crazy stuff I use to take pictures. I know I've seen other people's miniature painting setups for their photography, but mine's pretty simple. I do want to get a different background like that. Black is nice, but I want like a portrait uh, style background. So I need to look up oh, what I can get or print one off the internet, I guess, since the miniatures are so small. But when I do paint bigger things like uh, huge bases, then I'm obviously going to need something bigger. But yeah, that's it. That's how I take my pictures. Um, if you want a tutorial about how to take it on cell phone, uh, leave a comment in the comment section and I'll probably do one because I was taking 
uh, a lot of my pictures before with my Note, my Galaxy Note 4, before I started taking them with my uh, DSLR. So if you want to see that, I'll uh, do that. Especially something that, like, just taking it with a cell phone in, um, in uh, like, a brightly lit room uh, using free stuff. So if you want to see that, uh, leave a comment. Uh, but that's going to be it for me. Uh, thanks for watching. If you like this video, hit that like button below. Subscribe if you can, and don't forget to lift heavy and level up.